Hi, and welcome to Pi Along. Today, as you see, we have the old checkers in here. Uh, many of us played with the old checkers, uh, uh, and we still have them. Uh, we played uh, on the stoops and in the parks. I know I was from Brooklyn. We used to play uh, both there, and we used to play with our friends and our family. Because checkers is fun. Here we have a position from Mr. Boland, Ben Boland's book, uh, Famous Positions. And the end game here is white to play. Here, here just to show you an example, the new check is red, is for black, and, and white is for red. So that's how the new check is. The new checker so and as you can see it's harder to see because of the dark squares with the dark so that's one of the reasons why and and the players used to play for hours so it, it's it took uh it's easy on the eye the new checkers so here we are we're going to play a game and it's going to be with the name of it it's, it's an old game as i said we're going to play and it's uh with mr r e bowen uh, versus R.D. Yates. Now, R.D. Bowen is red and Yates is white. You'll be white, you can play along or watch. Now, this game was played in Boston, 1877, in a winter tournament, a Christmas tournament. The first move Mr. Bowen makes is 11 to 15. White goes 23 to 18. This is the cross open. Red 8 to 11. White goes 27 to 23, 4 to 8, 23 to 19. Uh, here red goes 9 to 14, which is a cut or exchange. And, and in 1877, the same rules applied. It's mandatory jumps. You have to jump. So white jumps 18 to 9, and red jumps 5 to 14. Here red goes 22 to 17. Now one of the ideas about this position it's a flanking attack for white to cross on here and say for example if red would go 11 to 16 white would go 31 to 27 for a triple red plays in the game 15 to 18 and white goes 26 to 22 red covers up 11 to 15 white goes 17 to 13 here red goes 7 to 11 and white has a chance to attack now if he if he wants to he goes 13 to 9. This is a, a cut, a pick, or uh, a trade, and red has to jump 16, 6 13. And now the reason why he does this is because it is three checkers here with the elbow being on 15. White goes 20 to 24. Red jumps 15 to 24. And now white, you would jump 22 to 6. Uh, you take the double first because the red check on 24 is not going anywhere. Red jumps 1 to 10 towards the center, which is correct. And white jumps 28 to 19. So what we have here now is a uh, th 3 for 3. Here red goes 14 to 18. And white goes 30 to 26. And red squeezes 18 to 23. And white goes 26 to 22. Now here if red goes... 11 to 15, he's assuming that white would go 32 to 28 and it'd be even trade. But checkers is not a game of chance or luck, as Mr. Al Lyman would say from Checker Gold. It's a game of skill. So if red would go 11 to 15, white would gain a tempo by going 19 to 16, red would jump 12 to 19, then white would go 22 to 17, red jumps 13 to 22, and White would go from 25 to 4 for triple. So red goes 23 to 26. White plays a waiting move, 32 to 27. Red goes in, 26 to 30, gets a king. And here white goes 22 to 17. Red jumps 13 to 22. And white jumps 25 to 18. Red's move, which he needs to make, is 2 to 6. Mr. Yates goes 21 to 17. Mr. Bowen goes 6 to 9. Now here, if we're white and we go 13 to 17 to 13, 
we would lose. Because on 13, 17 to 13, red would go 10 to 14. When white jumps one, red would jump two and win a checker and, and has a winning game. Um, so, red play, white plays 27 to 23. And the people at the tournament that, that, you, that, uh, that day, they thought that white is lost. He's going to lose a checker. Red squeezes, he goes 9 to 13. And white plays the move eight, 18 to 14, he had to play that. Red jumps 13 to 22. White jumps uh, 14 to 7, and red jumps back 3 to 10. Now, as you see here, white is down a checker. However, when white goes 23 to 18, his three checkers are holding the four checkers. And now, white, red could move here, or could move here, but, but in the game, he moves 30 to 25. And either way, it leads to the same thing. Now, there's a combination here. Do you spot the combination for white? Because the eight plays 18 to 15, and it has to jump 11 to 18, and now you have the triple. Do you see it? Yes. 31 to 26, the elbow. Red jumps from 22 to 31, gets a king, and now white jumps to six for a triple. Here red wants to block these checkers to try to win one. So he goes 8 to 11. White goes 6 to 2 for a king. And red goes 31 to 27. Now we have the thing. It's 3 versus 3, and it's white to play and draw. Now the first move here, if you notice, if white goes 2 to 7, he loses by 27 to 24. The, to check on 16, the king will be trapped. So what would you do as white? 19 to 16 is correct. Red jumps 12 to 19. White, uh, white goes 2 to 7. Red has to go 11 to 15. White goes 7 to 11. Red goes 15 to 18. White goes 11 to 15. Here red in the game goes 20, 19 to 24. And white gets his checker back with 15 to 22. Now it's a draw here. And both players agree on a draw. And just to show you, say for example, if red goes here, white is going this way, so he doesn't have to exchange. He just goes 20 to 16 down here, and it's a draw from here, and they agree on a draw. Check is this fun. It was fun in 1877, and it's fun in 2015. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it.